Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Dave the Diver. I think it's probably time to go into the um, the glacial area now, really, isn't it? I um, can't think of too much else that we have on our to-do list at the moment. I guess we'd have a look at the upgrades, see what we have available. Ooh, grenade launcher. Ooh, we could actually do our gravity launcher now. Which is tempting. So it does damage, then it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, does it actually do more damage than our grenade launcher 2? It does. We could also do grenade launcher 3. We can't do... Well, we couldn't do both. Hmm. I mean, not at this time. I mean, you know, we will be able to eventually. I, I, I want to see this uh, gravity launcher in action. I'm going to skip this one. There seems to only really be a couple of um, variants, doesn't there, for for that animation. I am going to check the uh, eco watcher. I don't think I've actually got that much left to claim now because I sold so much stuff in the uh, Sea People village. But there is this one. <laughs> so we'll do that. Um, we do have to get rid of the fried egg jellyfishes. And we need some sea grape. Okay, I mean, we're not going to, yeah, we're not going to focus on those. We'll tick them off as they get done. I just hadn't checked it for a while. Well, this is the Marlin party. Yeah, we, we were expecting that. Movie news. Alligator. Very good. Um, yeah, okay. I think without further ado, let's just, well, let's quickly check the shop. Oh, I've got the oxygen thing already. That's fine. Um, well, I think, yeah, glacial area. Let's do it. Starry skate. Hmm. So we want to try and catch as many fish as possible down here to sort of collect them in our marine car collection, I guess. I think it's also one of the eco objectives to kind of catalogue all different stuff in this area. So let's quickly do some of this because I don't know if I've caught any of these yet. Oh, well still. Okay. Um, I expected to catch these little ones a bit, oh, a bit quicker. Got, why haven't I got my gravity one? Usually when you upgrade it automatically equips it, but it hasn't done so this time, which is a little bit weird. Polar eel pout. Okay, I think that was a new one. Uh, what about this type? Get it. <laughs> it's this one, isn't it? Oh, I caught the wrong one. We've got a gelatinous snailfish this time. Alright, what about this one? Ice fish. That's so we just got this type out, haven't we? It's this one. Keep punching it in the face. Oh, I thought that might be the one. Arctic Cod. Very nice. Um, I mean, I could try and catch more, but they 
Oh look, he's got the little hand still sticking out. I think perhaps we'll we'll venture down now, having sort of collected those types. Well, it's really warm. It's completely different from before. Well, time to really explore the area. Oh, it's a narwhal. And he's hostile. I really wish I had my upgraded. Ah, run, Dave! Oh, wow. We're taking quite a bit of... Ah, damage. Run, Dave! Of novels as being particularly hostile. Oh, God damn it! Ah, and we're already dead. <laughs> okay. Oh. I mean, I don't really know. I mean, I guess the heaviest one. Right then. <laughs> okay. It was hard to get away from that thing. Um, I don't know really. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that I've got the right thing equipped here for the next time. Do we get? Do we just do a night dive? I mean, maybe we do. I guess I would. Um, quite like a bit more money. But I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do another night dive. It, it, oh. Oh, of course I can't go that deep, can I? At night. All right. Let's just go back to the sushi restaurant. Then we'll try again tomorrow. A little bit annoying. Thing with the gravity one, it would have presumably pulled the um, the thing back, and it wouldn't have been able to charge me quite as much. VIP appeared. Wow. Okay. Missed the name. Hello everyone, this is Yui from NDC Station. Today I present a new program called Challenge the Chef featuring Vincent Yamioka. It's been a long time everyone. I am Vincent Yamioka. The champion of the last season was Bancho who was praised by Vincent. He will be the defending champion today. The defending champion? And this season's first challenger is Wang Pang. It is my honor to be here. I am Wang Pang from Hong Kong. Uh, nice to meet you Wang Pang. All oh, right, we've met the contestants. Now let us begin the show. You two will compete with dishes on the same day at the same place on a given theme. Vincent Yamayoka will judge your dishes. Today's theme for the contest is Chinese cuisine. Oh well, this isn't good. As you know, Chinese cuisine developed many different cooking styles in its long history. When we talk about Chinese cuisine, many will think of stir-fried meat and vegetables. But that's not all. There is more than that. This time you will compete for the fish dish using fish. Give me a Chinese style fish dish. May the best chef win. I heard of you and your reputation, Pancho, but I will beat you with a fabulous recipe from Hong Kong. Oh, Wang Pang just issued an official challenge. This should be interesting. You know the rules, folks. We'll be back in two days to broadcast the intense competition between the two contestants in real time. Stay tuned and see what transpires in today's Challenge the Chef. Are you okay? You're not familiar with Chinese cuisine, are you? I don't need to be Chinese to compete with him. I will use a Chinese culinary style. But with the type of fish they have never tasted before. Oh, let's not go overboard, Ban Chao. I can't teach him a lesson with an ordinary fish. If you say so, bring me the ingredients I want in two days. Chinese cuisine is no problem. I will need just need stargazers, wheat, olive oil and eggs. Got all that, haven't we? Yeah. We're done. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's have a look at our research. Although, did I research all the dishes for the party? Maybe I did. Maybe this one. Agar and pufferfish skin. Sure. I've seen all these quite a few times by now. 
Um, I don't really want to spend anything on the interior at the moment, so I guess we'll take a look at the menu. Um, in terms of the price, we've got the hammerhead stuff. Can I get? I can actually get this up into the right taste range now, I think. So I think we do do that. Again, we'll skip the, skip the cutscene, which we've seen quite a few times already. So we'll put that on. Um, yeah, we'll put the Thresher Shark one on. And we'll uh, make sure that we auto-supply. Pacific Fanfish, what we do here. Okay, that can actually come up a bit. And we'll auto-supply. Sure, the blobfish can go on again. Doing that. Pelican eel sushi. Oh. So this one will take quite a lot of upgrading, but we'll stick it on the menu. It's a good one to sort of keep us going throughout the night, as we've got quite a lot of it. Devil scorpion fish. This one. What can we do with this one? Okay, take that up again. Got quite a lot of shrimp. Oh, that, okay, I, saw, I tell you what, our swordfish dishes, we actually have quite a lot of them, don't we? Um, I us say that, we don't get a lot of mores. Cleones, we could take up a little bit. Yeah, I'm just going to put the, the devil fish on. And one more. I guess the tiger shark. Right, that looks good. I'll let them deal with the early drink orders and I'll grab the food as soon as it's ready. Whipping through the cooking now. This is far. Okay, I'll take this on right to the end. I'm gonna need more wasabi soon. Do some washing up. Pretty good the servers now, they're very quick. Just getting on the washing up. Keeping an eye on the wasabi. They're doing pretty well, I'll grab this one. I'll take it all the way to the end. Oh no, he's done it. How are we doing? Is that it? Wheel done? A little bit of wastage there, not too much though, but some. So those dishes didn't really get ordered. I think we had a perfect night, I don't think it was our best night. Oh, what, are we, what were we down on then? I didn't think we did anything badly. Okay. It's party day today. Prepare the right ingredients and make a fortune. Crops are grown. Okay, well I guess we'll go and check out all that stuff first. And then we're gonna then we'll go down to the glacial area. Uh, hmm, yeah, not okay, we've got a harvester deck, that's good. Let's get rid of some weeds. We had some spoilers, spoilage there in the aubergines. It's a bit annoying. This will plant some more. Sorry, I know in the, 
plants. In America, they call them eggplants, but I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll generally be calling them <laughs> aubergines, I think, because that's what we call them in England. I'm too old to change now. Let's check. Oh, we'll feed the cats. Some more high quality cat food guys uh, and I guess we'll do the fish farm okay Got quite a lot we can check to chuck the restaurant oh yeah the kitchen that's right Maybe a couple here the kitchen. I don't really know why you would want to sell, to be honest, because you get, okay, you get the money, but if you send it to the kitchen, you'll be able to, like, upgrade the dishes and stuff, won't you, and um, uh, make more money that way. So it's kind of cutting off your nose to spot your face in a way. Uh, yeah, there's some stuff here. Probably all. We've got some pairs of staff, that's okay. Uh, a couple of things. there are a few shrimp, honestly. I don't think we need to worry too much about harvesting those just now. Let's go back to the boat. Uh, so, let's quickly check in with Cobra. What's he selling? I mean, we're definitely taking it. I'm just wondering if it can catch that narwhal. It might be able to. All right, let's try again. I would have liked a little uh, oxygen refill there just uh, in case I need it for this fight, but we're gonna we're gonna try and see if. Oh, hello. What's this? Shock right. I mean, it's a good gun. It is. Um, but I'm going to break it down for parts. Alright, so we've got our steel traps. I guess we're going to see if this is useful. But that narwhal, I mean. Where is it? More stuff over here. No sign of that novel now. Got an octopus down there. I wonder if we can get in with this. He's going for us. Is he, is he being aggressive? I think he is. Ah. Oh, look at that. He's coming for revenge. He came all that... Oh, I see. So he came all that way to Incas, but actually, yeah. He's being a little git. Tell you 
Well, you're gonna get another one of those. Baseball. Don't know about that. Antarctic octopus. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Jane Hall. I'll tell you what, it's pretty nice being in a new biome after all this time. Like this thing. Oh wow, I didn't kill any of them. I must have done something. Beating. Haddock. Very nice. And another one of these. Actually, this is a lightning one. Okay. Mind knowing where there's some oxygen around. Ooh, that's some good ore. Oh, this is. Oh, we can't do it with our knife. Might have to upgrade it again. I should stop sprinting really until I know where there's oxygen to come. Give me an oxygen. That's like something I should be able to blast through. Still no oxygen. Still no evacs. Ah. Okay. Um, oh, God damn it. I'll tell you, I'll leave it there until it becomes more of a pressing concern. left. There we go. Oh, we got a venom sack. What I might do is uh, use that to take this. And there is, uh, there was an oxygen clamshell over here. So we'll do that. Oh, hello. Well, the current here is true, strong to enter. All right, maybe something I've got to build up to then. I didn't, I didn't mean to hit that with a grenade, honestly. <laughs> okay, so need something else to get through that door. It does look like something I should be able to shoot, but. I don't think it is, because on the other side it doesn't really go anywhere. Uh, I don't think I'm coming back in this direction, so I'll just take this. Because we know we can't mine that. Mm. 
Oh, that's better. At level four as well, that's pretty cool. Definitely take it. So now, what sort of damage am I doing on this thing? Oh. It's a mirror. Okay, cool. I don't want to use that just yet, but good to know that it's there. There's a narwhal. I think it's in the background. This might be a photo op. Hang on. Let me come down here a ways. Okay, can't do that either. We have some southern bull kelp. Got to be a photo op there, surely. Whoa, a huge jellyfish. What was his name? Lion Mane or something? Anyway, it's a drawn jellyfish in the glacial area. It must make a nice photo. Let's take a pic. Alright, so let's, uh, let's try zooming in a bit. And we'll try and get that narwhal in it as well. Huzzah! Nice, that was a good shot. Uh oh. Whoa, boy, you scared me. Even in such a cold place, there is still something for such a big creature to eat. The deep sea really is a mysterious place. I thought it was going to be a boss fight or something, and I wasn't really prepared for it. I'll tell you what, we're nearly at our, um, our dive limit as well. Can I use this on this? Oh, I can. That's cool. I'll go to the one that's above as well. Um, we, I'll probably do that coming out, because I don't think I'll be able to go much deeper. Wait, I feel some heat coming up. I can't go down further now. Okay, we've hit a hard limit then for this area. Oh my god, what's that? Oh, hello. I'm guessing you can't be caught in a steel trap. you. Definitely send the submersible down for you, big boy. What was it? A Greenland shark, rank 9. Not bad, not bad. Oh, we got one of those. Yeah, so I can't head much deeper. Can't go down that far, which is a shame as there's oxygen there. This feels like sort of the hard edge of this map. Wonder if I can get up this way. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So I wonder what we'll have to do to go down even deeper. Oh, I wish I had a gravity grenade thing. What are these little things? Capelin. Just hope trying to get maybe a couple of rows for this lot. 
I feel that's enough. something down there. I don't, I don't want anything horrible grabbing. Oh no, oh no, there's something up there too. Oh, there's another ray. Oh, good, we've got... Something up, ah! Maybe you're the horrible thing. Have some of that. There's a nice seahorse down there, I've seen it. I've seen a race winner. Oh, it's dead now. Right, let's disassemble this. I'll grab that ammo. Grab this seahorse. Leafy sea dragon, lovely. Something big over there, I kind of want to go and take on. So, I wonder if maybe I can get the man, the ray in this trap. Aha! already. Oh, it's quite exciting being in this area. I want to go and see what those big things were. I think it was just the one, actually. Great white. Got it. <laughs> I love this guy. Uh, I, don't know. I think it's a great white, but we'll see. Now it's a poor beagle shark. Okay, poor beagle shark. Nice. Well, we'll continue exploring for now, but we'll probably think about heading back fairly soon. Oh no, it's an owl. Get out of here. Going to, I'm going back down for that mirror. I'm not mixing it with that narwhal. Not after last time. I think I think I lost it. Oof, no grenades either at that point. Right, I don't really want to push my luck any further because I've got quite a nice little haul here. Um, so I think I think we'll head back. And I'm going to go to the Sea People Village actually because I want to I want to enter that sea seahorse into the race. to do the shark tooth game because I want to I want to get up a bit more money. <laughs> I don't need to go in there right now. I 
Might check out the seaweed garden on the way back. I got a winner here, mate. Leafy Sea Dragon. Oh, he's quite. Mind you, saying that he's uh, he's a bit he's a bit low. Might have to leave him until next time. I mean, he's still good, but he's not he's not going to win against the uh, the S level ones. Let's look. Yeah, these are like over a hundred. We might need a ruby one as well. Okay. Yeah, we'll leave that for now, mate. Um, so I'm going to go and pause here while I do some shark toothing. Eagle-eyed viewers will know that I uh, I actually lost one of those bouts. I forgot which was the target tooth. Got the rest, though, so we got, you know, plus 300 in. That's not too bad. So I think the plan now is to go back to the boat. We, you know, we're going to kind of cash all, cash in all uh, the big finds that we got. But then we'll probably head back out into the... Um, the frozen zone, because I think there was a couple of things to discover. There seemed, where that narwhal was hanging out, there seemed to be some sort of big tablet type thing or set on the wall. That's probably what I need to go and have a look at. Um, but I just, I wasn't willing to kind of lose all my, all my catch uh, in order to do so. Uh, but we'll, we'll go back and we'll have a look at that now. I say now, but after we've done the boat. And then it'll be time for the uh, the Marlin party. Pretty good haul there. Happy with all that. Uh, we got some row, which is quite nice. We our new shark friends. Yeah. Oh, Udo's here. Oh, you brought a picture of something. Can I see? Wow, a giant jellyfish. Those tentacles look like a lion's mane. Did you hear something growling? <laughs> Just kidding. You can't hear anything underwater. Yeah, you can. <laughs> it's not space. I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. Cool bit of cash in. Nice. Okay. So yeah, we're going to go down and do an afternoon dive. I just want to uh, make sure we've still got our thing equipped. Is there any... How are we doing for the charms? I've got extra gun damage. And the tube worm tunnels, which I don't think are in the glacial zone. Um, so maybe we should put either dash. Dash speed might be good for those narwhals, to be honest. Let's swap that out. Yeah, okay. Happy with that. Uh, let's dive. I was going to say, I was going to go back to Cobra's shop, but actually we're, we're kind of done with stuff from him now. I wonder if we'll keep the other steel net that we didn't use. I'm guessing probably not. Which would be a shame. Uh, but, hey. We'll be alright. Oh, did I just jump in the boat? Oh, that's annoying. I have to make it down to the uh, Sea People place manually now and uh, use that mirror. It's a bit of a mistake. Oh well, we might get some decent upgrades here before we head down, or at least gun parts and stuff. But I'm not going to catch too much, because I don't, A, I don't want to risk losing it if I get hit by that narwhal again. And B, I kind of want to keep my space for, for the cool stuff down there. Oh, there's another marl in there, uh, there though. Alright, I'll catch you. I'm going to keep the uh, keep the two things, I think. There we go. Mm, no. Oh, another one of those thresher sharks. Ah, I'm trapped.
save the survivor. Alright. Let's get some of this stuff now. Yeah, I'll take one of those. Oh god, there's something else coming now. What's that? It's a white tip one, isn't it? Block. I think we've found that before. Definitely grab the O2. So I got rid of that necklace and now I'm having to go through I'm gonna be having to go through those tube worm tunnels again. I mean unless I don't, unless I just kinda of hang around in this zone, catch some stuff, and then head back for the party. I might do that. I might do that. I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm up for like a big trawl down back down to the zone. I've really caught a fair bit of stuff to be honest. Letting your finger go too soon. Does not a good feeling when you're disassembling. <laughs> This gun might be good for those tuners. I'll get up to the point where they turn around and then I'll see. Oh, they're too quick. Maybe if I do it, maybe if I do it on this. Uh... Oh, they're too quick to get caught now, unfortunately. Oh well, it was just an idea. more of those. Really wants me to have this triple axle, doesn't it? stage. It's good to get the gun parts though, we might be able to upgrade something else. Ingredients always good. Oh, these guys. Oh no, there's something else down there. a hammerhead. That's actually pretty cool. Ah, moved. He's just serving shark dishes in the sushi restaurant at this stage. Yeah, I want to know what this is.
Oh, okay, yeah, we've had those before. Try getting another one of these. Come and recover it. Do a couple more things, then we'll go back up. Little loot, let's go and do our Marlin party. And then tomorrow we'll go back down into the frozen zone. It's good to me. Then we head back. Oh, we got some miso from Kyoko. That's good. I'm pretty sure the crops haven't all grown. Mm, but if they have. Oh, fine. We'll go take a look. Oh, yeah, some of them have. So these. Weeds are ruining my crops over here. It's annoying. Probably, yeah, I guess I'll leave them for now. What else can I... Can I buy like a... a weed killer or something from him? None of these say, like, we'll stop weeds growing. I mean, it says pests, but that's insects, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know about that. Alright, let's head back to the restaurant. Lots of them. So on the staff tab, is Kyoko better? Oh, mind you, he's really good now, isn't he? 215, 298. Mitchell's actually better. They both are. Shall I invest into Hoku, level him up a bit? and unlock his second uh, ability slot. Uh, just increased his cooking, but yeah, seems, seems good. Okay, I think we're pretty well stocked in these areas now. I feel like El Nino is probably going to be a very good server, though. Maybe I will. Maybe I will get him. I swap him for Mitchell then. No, I, I won't. But I could um, maybe train him first until he gets like the ability to serve drinks. It said serve a drink perfectly. Do the others have that? That might be where... I don't think they have. I think that's unique to him. Uh, let's do a bit more. And then I might put El Nino in. Uh, back to staff. Yeah, these just say drink serving, but he does it perfectly. So let's get him instead for uh, Mitchell then. Uh, very good on the serving. Perfect drinks. Okay, we'll spend a lot of money on staff, but I think I think it'll be worth it. Let's have a look at the menu. 
So I think I'm only going to add party food to this. What's this? Vegetable sushi. Um, so this boiled sailfish and seaweed. We've only got the one dish, but we'll add it to the menu. This one, marlin and soybean. Uh, yes, but we'll auto supply that one. Where's all my other party dishes? Ah, these ones. So this one I think we can uh, up enhance a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll keep it at that level and I'm going to stick that on the menu. Auto supplied. So we've got this one we'll do similar with. Stick that on the menu. Auto supplied. Uh, I don't think I've got any more party dishes, but I'll just have a little check. That seems to be it. Okay, so I'm only going to serve these party dishes tonight. Uh, we should get good money for them, hopefully. Let's go. Because I wonder if them not serving drinks perfectly is why I've been losing sort of little bits of stars. It's possible. Wasabi while I'm at this end. Oh, someone someone left annoyed. Why did they leave annoyed? Was there nothing they wanted to eat? Oh no, that's been done. Is that it? We've still got some stuff on the menu. Wow, we made a lot of money though. Best day of income. I lost some money though, but they had a good party, so that's fine. Well, we know we've got the ingredients, so that's all good. Alright, we'll go check the farm first, I suppose. This time. Nice. Leave the eggplants to grow a bit more. Uh, let's go check out the fish farm, I suppose. Right, what does it say? 
Oh dear, so he's got a sore tummy again. Maybe he thinks he's a cow. <laughs> 